Now, this is the tub grinder. New hot pig. Yeah. Got a 3412 cat in it, which is two 3406s and a B. And head gasket went out. This machine has also been on fire. Rebuilt all the stuff for that. That was a big project. Uh, this machine, for some reason, I don't know. The problem with rotary mill tub grinders is they're just so hard on themselves. Um, and it's a dusty environment. And I think what, well, what happened was it overheated enough to where the head gas went out. I don't know if the head's warped. We'll have to check it. Um, but nonetheless, this head's got to come out. It's one piece head, which is unhandy. I got to take the ceiling off up there and. That's definitely coolant. Ooh. Yeah, so that's uh, that's not good. Um, you don't see that a whole lot with uh, just it. Well, I guess you can. <sighs> but anyways, you gotta hop up here and clean this valley out and uh, start pulling her apart. off and then we're almost ready to pull the head these are really easy to work on but look at that head gasket failure that is a head gasket failure oh I got something on the screen sunlight but yeah that's exactly the worst kind of failure and then see we also got a pile of coolant going in the cylinders I mean both these cylinders are soaking wet the exhaust is full of coolant um, so we're gonna have to check deck heights and these is a deck deck plate motor um, but yeah, you can see coolant made it in here. You can see that milky, nasty. See, this side looks okay, but being one head, it's got to come off too. So, pop these off and I'll whip her out here. We're going to stop here and the dang wind. Eat some lunch for a minute. And uh, or, move, move the guys up here a little so you can see. It's a little better, a little bit tilted. Anyways, pretty cool machine. Just hard on itself. 
And I don't know how any other way you could uh, do that. I wish I would have had a uh, was more avid YouTubing when we had to rebuild the roller mat mill and this we had a bearing fail and uh, it torched into the, the center section and you couldn't get that center section out so we ended up um, pulling the whole thing out and I found a guy in, in um, Douglas that would turn the whole thing so that 5,000 pound head that's 48 foot long by 40 inches across was in a lathe it was really neat to see that thing turning um, but yeah this thing she's a uh, She's a grumpy old girl. She's been on fire. She's been here, there, and everywhere. It just seems like no matter what you do to it, it's just the nature of the sport with this thing. Gosh, what a terrible time to be windy and blowing dirt around. Better quit screwing around and get her tore down so I can get her covered up. But anyways, we'll see what we find here. <laughs> up a little more but this is the one that blew out that coolant kind of shine that baby up oh, the rest of golly I think she'll be okay but uh, yeah now I gotta try and wrap her up real good and and uh, clean it up and, and, and get it airtight so that it doesn't get all screwed up sitting out here while we do all this work gotta get the deck plate off see these are cats got a deck plate on them there's another piece of steel that bolts between there. But um, anyways, God dang wind. Yeah, there she is. Thankfully, you can get it off without pulling too much off that motor. So that really wasn't too bad. You can see where the head gasket failed right there. But um, yeah, get her cleaned up and check her so she's flat. And uh, we'll put her back together.